In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at taking a free HTML CSS template that you can find online, such as at opensourcetemplates.org. There's a lot of different websites that have free um, CSS templates. But we're going to take a look at converting this to a get simple CMS template. So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, find it. And then I'm going to download the file. Now when I download it, it's going into my downloads folder and I need to extract the files from here. Now I've got a Mac OS folder here which I don't need on a PC, but if I go inside um, my folder called Green Web Hosting, you'll see I have that one little extra DS store file. But I have an index, my JavaScript, images, and CSS. We're going to have to move around some of these files, but let's first move this whole folder into our themes for Get Simple. So I'm going to cut that from here, go to my theme folder for Get Simple, and paste it. <clears throat> now, we're tempted immediately to want to go to themes and see if we can choose this theme. But it's not possible to do until we've done one major change. We need to go inside the folder and change the index.html file to template.php. Let's open this up before we do, though just to show you that here's what we've got going on. We've got our header at the top with a logo and our navigation. We've got some sort of main image. We have content on the left. We have a sidebar on the right. We have navigation again on the bottom. Notice that we don't have um, one of them, services, company. We're missing company. Now we might not be able to do that, the exact same thing that they have here but uh, we'll probably have a duplicate of the navigation that's at the top. And then we have some sort of information over on the right, kind of the footer information. So let's go ahead and close that and go make the change from index.html to template.php. <coughs> now after we've changed this, you'll notice that we're not able to double click on this and just run it like we were before. But if we go back to Get Simple and refresh our themes, you'll notice that we can now choose that as a theme. Now, it's going to be an active theme now, but obviously it's not going to work. And that's because we have a lot to do to get it to work correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the file here. <coughs> and I'm also going to open up one of my old files so I can get some other information out of it. Let's see, I like the Essential Plugins one, so I'm going to open up this one, because this has a lot of the information that I need. Now you'll notice that when we go to the original, there's a lot of things in here that have been added in that we might not really need to use, but we're going to go ahead and fix a lot of the links. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is bring in our title and metadata information. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to remove the metadata information that's here and paste in that code. So what we're adding is, let me, I guess I'll make those aligned here. Um, we're bringing in our title and we're getting our title from the title of our, of our website as well as the name of our website the title of the page that we're on that is. And then we're also generating the header which includes our meta tags and descriptions and keywords um, out of Get Simple. And it also will um, output information that says that this was created in Get Simple. The next thing that we need to do is link to our CSS. In order to get do that, we're going to want to use the Get Theme URL code from one of the templates and add that in. So pretty much anywhere that we have a link that went to just CSS, we actually need to make it so that it will go to the theme URL. We're also going to do that for the JavaScript and for the, I, um, the PNG fix. And it looks like that's all that we're going to need to add our theme URL into. Now we also have a logo here at the top and we're going to want to add our theme URL to that. Now we've got an index, uh, a, a link to index.html and of course we are taking that out. So I'm going to go ahead and call that index.php for right now. The next thing that we have here is our top menu.
and you'll see that our top menu has class equals active. Now I think that it's actually a little bit different in Get Simple. I think that we have class equals current instead of class equals active, but we can fix that here in a minute. Now I know that I'm going to replace all of those list items by using the, dun, 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 here it is, the i18n navigation plugin. So I'm going to copy that come back and paste that in. The next thing that looks like I need to fix is a main image. Now the main image is actually going to be using what is called a custom field. And that custom field is based upon a template that I've, in I've installed in Get Simple. Um, or a plugin, I'm sorry. And that's called the custom fields plugin. And what I've done is created two custom fields, main image, which is an image type, and then new title, which is a text field. Now, in order to use this particular plugin, we do need to make sure that we go back to our settings in Get Simple. So I'm going to go back to Get Simple to the GS config file, and we need to turn on our um, login cookies available site wide. And we just do that by removing the pound sign at the beginning of that line. And that's um, very, very important. Uh, let me not change that yet. So um, let's see, that is our main image right there. And that main image is going to be replaced using that custom field. Oops, I pa pasted it twice. So there we go, we've got that main image coming in. Now let's take a look at what else we have. Benefits of Clearing Fix. So this is the Benefits box. And that is the right-hand side. That, to me, looks as though this right-hand side is actually going to be our, um, our uh, sidebar. And so what we're going to do right there is actually remove that content, and we're going to put that content into a sidebar um, component. So if I go to theme and I go to components, we're really looking for a sidebar component that I'm already using. And I'm going to paste that code into there. Now I can save that component. Now I can go back to my theme and I'm going to bring in that component with the sidebar code. So now what I'm doing is using that component for that content instead of using the content that was there before. Now we have our main content here and I can cut all of that out if we need. Looks like that will be all of it. and I'll cut that all out and that's where the content is going to go. So I need to go back to Get Simple. I'm going to go to my main home page at this point and I'm going to replace all of that with this new code. Now you'll notice that things might not be perfect and that's okay for right now. Um, I don't expect it to be perfect. That is because we're missing some images and I'll come back and fix those here in a little bit. Now what we need to do is put our content in here. The way we do that is get our content right there. So this PHP get page content is the default tag um, or template tag in order to echo the content. So whatever we have in this box right here, whatever that source is, will actually be, um, be put into that area using this template tag. Now the last things that we have are our footer. So here's our footer menu and we can use the same menu as above. Oops, let's get our return page slug right there. So here I'm going to out output the exact same navigation as I have at the top. And then this last little bit is the credits. So it might be nice for us to go ahead and use um, a footer, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, I could change this if I wanted to, um, but right now I'm going to leave on Design by Studio 7 Designs because they deserve to to know people design this template. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this page. And I can close the other ones that I have right now. 
And if we go ahead and save and then test this, let's see if it's actually working. I'm going to click on Home, and you'll see that I actually have a start on some things. Now, it's definitely not perfect. Definitely not perfect at all. But it is definitely a start on getting things to work. We have our benefits coming in. We have um, our content coming in. We have the links here at the bottom, which have home, another page, and page two. We still have our footer information. The only thing that looks like we really need to fix is going to be this navigation at the top. It looks as though um, our code is not exactly the same thing that they had before. But everything else is pretty much there. Now we are going to change this main image as well. So let's go ahead and do those things. Let's fix our images. If we go into our theme folder and we go into the images here, we need to find out what images are content images and which ones are not. If I look at this one, this one, this one, the icon, the icon, the leaf, and the main image, I know those are all content images. So I'm going to cut those out of here and I'm going to move them into the right place. This actually goes into Data Uploads and that's where I like to put my images. I'm going to paste that and get rid of the Ichiban lobster for right now. And now let me go back to my main site and I'm going to go back to the home page and I want to edit the page. I'm going to go to Page Options and Browse for the main image that I want, which is that, here it is, main image JPEG. Now I should be able to save the update and then refresh the page and you'll now see that I'm getting the correct image up there at the top. Now all we need to do is fix these other small images. Let's do that by going to where the code is inside here. And what we can do is, if, if we want, we can do this manually, if we like. Let's see. It says Images um, Icon 2. And I know that where this is actually going to be is in Data forward slash Uploads forward slash Icon 2. Now, I like to do things manually because I like to know where things are. You'll see that's been fixed. But I can also click on the image and choose a different image. If I browse the server, I'm looking for Icon 1. So I can just choose Icon 1 there. And you'll see that it's pretty easy to fix these manually as well. Select the image, click on the image um, icon at the top, browse the server, and find the icon 3. And that would be the icon 4 at this point, I believe. So now I can save that, go back, refresh the page and you'll see that we have actually moved in our content into this template. Now if we went to a different page you'll notice that we are getting um, it to work going from page to page however we have not done anything to make the content look the way we expect it to look. So there's still a lot of work to do when it comes to CSS and to fix things like this up here. One of the things that we can do there is actually edit our theme. If I go um, to the theme um, section. This theme is currently active, so I can click on Edit Theme, and you'll see that I can actually edit most of the pages in here. Actually, it is not allowing me to do so. Ah, I should have thought about this. One of the things that um, I didn't think about when I was just setting this up is that typically what we want to do is move all the stuff to the main folder that we want to be able to edit. For example, I probably want to move this CSS stuff over. So I'm going to cut this, move it into the same folder, and I want to go in and edit that code by changing this. Let's see. Um, I'm going to take out the forward slash CSS right here, and I want those to be on the main level. The reason why is because I want to be able to edit them. I should have thought about that before, but now I can go back to Themes, Edit Theme, and you'll see I can now see those CSS files that I can edit. Now one of the reasons I wanted to do that was I was trying to find the one that's called Current. Not Current. Um, I might have to open up the original one. Let's just take a look at this code real quick. 
it is called active. So that's what we want to find and replace. There's where it says active, and we're going to change that to current. Let's save that change and see if that does a little bit better. Ah, now you can see we're getting a little bit better there. Seems as though we may have some sort of CSS that's not linked. That one's there. That one is there. So I think we're getting everything. Ah, what would be causing the problem now? It's fairly easy. This is the problem anytime you move files. What I didn't think about is the fact that I've got some images inside here that are probably linking in the wrong folder. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that double dot from the images there. Double dot. And this should fix these links. Quite a lot to fix in here. I could have just done an automatic replace, which probably would have been smarter. You can see now we've gotten the images back. We've still got some stuff here to fix, but um, this is not really a tutorial on CSS. It's really a tutorial on moving files into a template for Get Simple. So I think we've kind of done our job there and we've fixed some things. Um, it's not perfect but it's a good start, so um, hopefully this will help you out. Thanks.